in this session we will know about forming tools forming tools are external punches or dents in sheet metal components we can find the command for forming tool create inverse dent on a sheet metal part in solidworks there is a library of forming tools that is inbuilt in the software to use those features first we will make the base of the sheet metal component so i select this base plane and select this top plane go to center rectangle and draw a base of the sheet metal okay and give it some height suppose i take 3 mm and okay currently we cannot see any library for forming tool so we will go to this view option view user interface and there is a option task panel just make a check on this and on the right side okay let me hide this we can see the task panel there are options such as solid work resource design library file explorer view palette we will go to this design library click on this and a library will be open in the design library we will go to forming tools in forming tools there are more sub folders embosses extruded flanges lenses lovers ribs etc i select this embosses in this embosses there are some inbuilt features circular emboss counter sink emboss counter sink emboss 2 dimple drafted rectangle extruded hole similarly we have can access more type of component i select this extruded flange and there is rectangular flange and round flange suppose i go to this emboss flange and i want to insert this forming tool onto the sheet metal component so to insert this component we will have to select any of the parts select the part then hold down the left click and drag the component to this part and suppose i place it on this component and then leave the click then another dialog box window will open to specify the position and properties of the forming tool there are two options type and position in type the first tab is for placement and it is showing that we have placed this tool forming tool on the face one we can also change the position then rotation angle we can flip the direction by selecting this flip tool then configuration setting we can make it default then link to the forming tool link is the location of the forming tool in the hard drive until this location is c program data solid work solid work file and then in design library after defining the parameter we will have to define the position go to this position and we see we will automatically go to the sketch mode we can create multiple component of this circular emboss to specify the position we will have to select the smart dimension okay we can also rotate it to a normal view then go to the smart dimension and suppose i place it with respect to this horizontal line we can take this distance suppose i make it 60 60 press enter similarly we can specify another direction this time horizontal and we can take this value suppose i make this 100 and okay and this way we have specified the position i click okay and then once again okay and this way we can see we have inserted a forming tool similarly we can insert more tools this time i select this counter sink emboss then place it on the face we can flip the tool direction flip and then specify the position and click okay this way we can insert the forming tools